producer Joe here from the Working Fans Podcast. And at the Working Fans Podcast, this is just a podcast that three lifelong fans created to have a place to talk comedy and pro wrestling. Now, our comedy podcast releases every Tuesday, while our wrestling podcast releases every Thursday. We release bonus episodes under the moniker Working Fans Presents every now and then. You can find us on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Breaker, any major podcast provider. The important thing is just please like, rate, review, subscribe wherever you listen to us. Now, we have started a new thing. We are now on Amazon and Audible. So those episodes release every Monday. And that's kind of going through the archives and just releasing our old episodes in a new area. So if you want to live through the process with us again, take that journey with us again, you can find us over on Amazon and Audible. Now, if you can't get enough of us in the audio form, check out our YouTube. It's youtube.com slash C slash Working Fans Wrestling Pod, or just search Working Fans Podcast on YouTube. We have the, the whole archive is up there. And if you listen to the Working Fans Podcast, you are more than familiar with the 531. That is our signature segment where we take your top five list on a particular subject, vote it down to a top three, and then debate it down to a top one. Now, guys, if you want to hear three guys talk shit about comedy, wrestling, life, anything, you will enjoy the Working Fans Podcast. Guys, welcome back for Working Fans Saturday, episode 40. This you, it's Saturday. You know what this means. We got New Japan Resurgence tonight. We got Triple Mania. And the guys got NEW WrestleFest 25. So guys, just like prom night, we're in and out. Guys, Ooh. how's it going? Normally, I'd ask how you're doing, but I know how you're doing. You're excited as fuck for NEW WrestleFest 25. What match on the card has you most excited? Oh, baby, it's got to be the coffin match between Jerry Lawler and Enzo, baby. Dude, I I'm mean, looking all day long. Oh. I'm looking forward to that one because it's not every day you get to see someone who has died on national TV in a fucking coffin match. This could really go deep. I, I, you don't see this every day. What if he fucking really dies while he's in the coffin? <sighs> well said. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> what else we got on this show, Joe? Hit us. You got Chris Moljo versus Wrecking Ball Ligurski, former guest of the show, Mike Verna. We said it before versus Eddie Kingston. Oh. You got Matt Hardy versus King Brian Anthony. You got Tay Conti versus Megan Bain. That's going to be AJ's match of the night. Oh, it, 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 if you guys, if you guys have not seen Megan Bain, Megan Bain is um, almost six feet tall and is built like a fucking goddess. To see her against Tay Conti is going to be a hell of a match. She was great in Batman. Continue, Joe. <laughs> now you got Sammy Guevara versus Fuego del Sol. You guys already <sighs> mentioned it. Jerry Lawler versus Enzo in a casket match. Mm. A tag match that I'm interested in, Private Party versus the Young Private Party, Waves and Curls. Mm -hmm. You have an NEW Live Championship match, Gia Galvano versus Channing Thomas versus Keith Youngbred, <coughs> Youngblood versus Lucky Ali versus Christopher Battle. You got. I want to say. Hey, I want to say something about Gio real quick. Um, the young man Gio is a former soccer player turned to wrestling. Um, he sells shirts at events and I bought one last time. All of his shirts go towards the make a wish foundation. So you're talking about a very good young man too. Uh, great, so that's cause. Thing. great cause and segue. Randy. Thanks man. I appreciate you. Yeah, spe yeah. Speak speaking, of <laughs> spe speaking of make a wish, Randy Osga. You just if, if, if you want to come with us, Dave has room in the car. 
Keep going. Keep going, Jeff. We got the four player <laughs> tag team championship match with Insanely Rude versus the Graysons versus Club Cam versus the Rock and Roll Express. And from what I could find, this card is rounded out by a Poughkeepsie street fight between Dutch and Hale Collins. Now, AJ, next weekend, NWA ladies pay-per-view. Can we get you in the Casa de la Dave for it? Absolutely. All right, baby. Yeah, you're invited next Saturday. All right, guys. All right, first, we can talk first more about of all, I'm show. looking forward to that match. Layla Hirsch versus Camille is going to be absolutely incredible. Let's, um, I know we're trying to speed this along. No, so. no, no, it's not that. But I mean, we're going to talk about this show next week. So I want to get to Resurgence because that's, oh, absolutely. Something, that's something we're going to have to actually miss today. But uh, I'm excited to talk about it because it's going to be a good show. Joe, let's see. Let's get a run out of that card, baby. Okay, now next up, we got Triple Mania 29, which there's not a ton on this show that's huge that everybody would know. There's a Marvel Lucha Libre exhibition match, which I'm interested in. You got Pagano versus Chessman, or Pagano, Chessman, and Murder Clown versus Puma King and two to be announced. Right up AJ's alley. Dude, that's one of my favorite tag teams, two to be announced. (laughs) This is where it gets interesting. Triple A tag title, Lucha Brothers versus Laredo Kid and El Hijo de Vikingo versus Black Taurus and uh, to be announced. It wouldn't be a Lucha Libre match without a mask versus hair match, Psycho Clown versus Roy Scorpion. And uh, then when are, when are Eddie Guerrero and Art Bar on? Continue, uh, Joe. <laughs> That's all that nonsense. They're in heaven, brother. <laughs> but... The two matches that I think you will be interested in, Fabi Apache versus Deanna Perrazzo. That's Reina de Reina's AAA title versus the knockout title. And for the AAA Mega Campeonato, here we go. The Omega versus Andrade. Yes. Now, so let's talk about that real quick. I'll get AJ's opinion on this because last night, Christian Cage won the Impact World title. Yes, he did. Me and AJ talked about this off. Off record here a little bit. We both agreed we, this was probably going to happen. We, we predicted this. Yes. Joe knows about me, but I got to give AJ credit too. He did predict it as well. Um, so I want to say, with that being said, is Omega going to drop the AAA belt here too to Andrade? And we're going to keep this momentum going. And maybe, you know, we're going to have Andrade as the AAA, with his AAA belt in, impact, in uh, AEW. And Christian Cage will have the impact belt. But he'll be, is AEW still going to have control of these belts I, but with different stars? I'm going to disagree with you here. I think Kenny Omega is actually holding on to the AAA belt this time. Yeah, I'm not saying um, one way or the other. Yeah, yeah, I actually don't think Andrade is going to win it, uh, especially coming off of the loss last night. That's uh, I just have a feeling that Omega is going to hold on to the title. Although I will say this, with Impact talent in Mexico, it would be a good little storyline if Christian cost him that belt as well. He, he could, and if that yeah. happens, I absolutely could see it. I'm not saying it's not going to happen. But we don't I, know that Christian's just, in the building. Exactly. That's right. uh, um, Deanna Parazza, is that match belt versus belt? Or is it, is winner take all? The way that I read it, that's how I understand it. But... <laughs> This this situation is also weird because it's not being streamed anywhere officially in the U.S. Now, if you go to at Lucha Blog on Twitter and follow his Twitch stream, we'll be streaming the event tonight. That's 8 o'clock Central Time, 9 o'clock Eastern. I will have it on, and I will probably watch Resurgence right after it. This is the first really big um, women's match with um, impact down in Mexico, I believe, since um, Rosemary got taken advantage of uh, yeah. with that arm bar by, what was it, Sexy Star. Yes. And, yeah. and um, I think that Deanna is a little bit more able to defend herself than Rosemary. Rosemary's more of a I gimmick. I don't think Sexy Star is going to really be... Uh... Well, Sexy Star has nothing to do with it. She's such a, uh, She was so unprofessional yeah. in that match. It was yeah. absolutely insane. Oh. I, ju- I just wanted to point out that it's... Mexico. Yeah, I just wanted to point out that it's good to see Impact actually rebrand, rebuilding a bridge with uh, Mexico. So. And Peraza is going to be on that NWA Empower show next weekend, which we'll talk more yeah. about that next week. But and uh, yeah, New Japan research. We still got to hit that. Up. I, I I would say let's get to the main event of this. It's the big show tonight. Like when we first gave the description for the show, this was the only show we were really thinking about on this day. <coughs> I forgot that AAA was going to be on this day. And then, obviously, we knew about the NEW show. But tonight, 11 p.m. Eastern Time, 
it's on New Japan World. You can buy it on the Fight app. It is at the Torch in the LA Coliseum. It's kicking off with Alex Coughlin versus Carl Fredericks. These are two young lions from the LA Dojo that have had plenty of time together. This is going to be a hell of an opening match. Yeah, they're going to put on a great match together. You got two guys that are very much used to working each other, and I would be very disappointed if that's not a, one hell of a match. Now, the next match might even top that. Brody King, Chris Dickinson, Leo Rush, Fred Yehi, and Yuya Yuramura versus Team Filthy. That's Tom Lawler, Danny Limelight, J.R. Kratos, Royce Isaacs and Jarrell Nelson. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Friends of the show. Oh, yeah. Former guest Danny Limelight, Royce Isaacs. Yeah. We're, going, yeah, we're, going for team, we're going for Team Filthy. Oh, yeah. 100%. Absolutely. We are all about Team Filthy. Continue on. <laughs> now, filthy. another great multi man tag match Rocky Romero, Fred Rosser, and Wheeler Yuta versus TJP, Ren Narita, and Clark Connors. Clark Connors, another young lion out of that LA dojo. Ren Narita, Yuya Yuramura, they are young lions out of the New Japan dojo, but they're out on excursion right now. So Clark Connors matches, it's up in the air. Connors I know one. Out. I know one thing. Rocky Romero is not doing the job. <laughs> he might be. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Now, this is going to be a bruiser of a match. Tomohiro Ishii versus, versus Moose. Moose. Yeah. God, that's going to be some. Moose. And uh, that's going to be hard hitting. I'll go with Moose. Randy's asking all the pertinent questions. You got the Good Brothers versus Moxley, and to be announced, who do you guys think, real quick, is going to be Moxley's partner? I'm saying Callahan. I mean, I that would be, be good. Yeah, we got Calhoun coming up. He's you know impact. Well, I know who it's. I know who it's not going to be. It's not going to be Eddie Kingston. All right. right. Well, well, he's on the show that we're at tonight, so he's probably right, so. not going to be in LA tonight. Now, the fucking co-main event is Jay White versus David Finley for the Never Open Weight Title. Oh. And the main event of this show, Lance Archer versus Hiroshi Tanahashi, IWGP US Title. Frankly, I think that Jay White Finley could be the headliner. Yeah, I think White... uh, it could. It, it could go either way. The problem is right now they're an impact, whereas Lance Archer is um, a, an up and coming star in AEW, and AEW is just a bigger product. Uh, so him and Tanahashi has has got to be the main event. Unfortunately, I think uh, I'm going to go with White and Tanahashi tonight in those respective matches. I don't think. Uh... I don't think New Japan is looking to keep the belt on Archer for too long. I, I agree with you. Unfortunately, I like the belt on Archer. I don't think he gets enough credit for the way he can work. And I do think Jay White's going to win also. So unfortunately, yeah. much to my chagrin, I have to agree with Dave. It is what it is, baby. Now, guys, we we went through this pretty quick. So we got a little bit of free time. Let's take the last 10 minutes to talk about Rampage last night. It was episode one. How did you guys like it? Guys, I got breaking news for you real quick here. No, no, no. Oh, this God. is real breaking news. Okay. SummerSlam review show. Pat Oates is in. He's in. So we're going to do a review show for you guys with myself, Dave, Pat Oates. If Joe can make it, Joe obviously will be there also. Sometimes it's a little bit late at night, so sometimes it gets a little tired. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> uh yeah, man. I'm, uh, well, I'm excited about that. Always good to have Pat on the show. And uh, yeah, Rampage was good last night, man. Uh, uh, you know, it was funny. An hour show. That's so nice. All right. Just to have one hour go through like that. Three matches. Um, you started off hot. You know, even though we called it, we were still, it's still somewhat surprising, right? It's not like you expect. You know what I mean? Like, it's still shocking to see Christian win the title, an impact title, on AEW television at this point in his career. And I don't think he could have started that show with a hotter, hotter star, and the crowd you, loved it. So You started it with a hot star, and you ended it with a hot star. If that's not a perfect hour of wrestling, I don't know what is. And you had great stories in between there. Love seeing Mark Henry. Um, the whole package was fantastic. Now, here's a surprise. I watched that live... I taped SmackDown and watched it after I watched AEW uh, because, so that I could fast forward the crap I didn't want to watch. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I watched uh, I watched SmackDown. Um, 
before, but I was also behind. I made sure I could skip all the commercials and stuff. I actually like SmackDown last night, except for the – I can't tolerate Baron Corbin or just Seth Rollins. Oh, he's freaking horrible, and Seth Rollins is getting worse by the week. Yeah, he's a little over the top. I like Nakamura winning the Intercontinental title. I love Pat that. McAfee dancing on the table with Boogs was great. I, I don't um, think anybody loves Boogs and Pat and um, uh, Nakamura more than um, Pat McAfee, which, it, by the way, makes me love Pat McAfee. So Yeah, it's great. That's the show. I also wonder if Nakamura is going to get over with Vince at this point because it's not like that's ever happened, but the crowd's been so excited for these. It's kind I of I absolutely the love the TV. combination. Yeah, yeah. Now, um, I, I enjoyed Ceno and, and freaking um, Reigns' interaction. I thought that that was entertaining. They did great. But that being said, getting back to Rampage, uh, great way to end the show, she said, too. Uh, not to take anything away from the middle of the show with uh, you know, Fago de So uh, getting the contract or losing to Miro. I don't think any of us thought he was going to beat Miro. Um, no. But uh, it was great. Uh, and that he got the Britt contract. Baker. Britt Baker to in her hometown. And who was still a heel. You know, even though she was cheering yeah. for everything, you know, at the end, they made sure to establish that she's still a heel going forward on television. Yeah, That's because great. going forward in other towns, he's still the, she's still going to have to be the heel in other towns. But so you got to still do the bad stuff. Great booking by AEW, who uh, didn't bury the hometown talent. So. Uh, also, they hey, added Randy, another... fuck off, baby. I'm sick. Bitch. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> Okay, first of all, Dave's not even sick. Is that fucking cat that's in his house that he's not going to... Uh... Hey, I ain't got a house you feel. It ain't the cat, baby. He's gone. This is uh, hey guys. warm weather. What do you I mean he's you gone? <laughs> he's guys, fine. let's bring it full circle. Randy <laughs> wants to know about today. So are you guys excited for the trip? Where are you stopping for food? And the big question... Food is up in there. What are you planning to meet? Uh, uh, oh, wow. Um, so the big, ones sure for, the big ones for me are Ty Conte. Uh, <laughs> yeah, what? She's one of the best Brazilian wrestlers on the planet. Yeah, tell that story walking. Great tech wrestler. <laughs> um, here. Another big yeah. one for me is actually, I've never met Jerry Lawler, so this is a great opportunity to meet Jerry Lawler. If Jungle um, Boy's there for any reason, I'm going to tell him to watch out for you. Yeah. <laughs> o- only if, only if, only from behind. Um, <laughs> Kick that at, ass. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I don't know about Dave, but another one that I'm excited about is Eddie Kingston. I know Dave doesn't give two shits about Eddie, but I, I would like <laughs> to meet Eddie, Eddie Kingston. Kingston in the past of the shows. Wow, that's not what I remember. I remember how much Dave was against Eddie, didn't like you, his work rate. You his said life. he looked like a janitor. What? <laughs> that's what you said. That is racist, Dave. I'm not going to let you do like that. A um, <laughs> just because my janitor in school was a badass and you... <laughs> um, <laughs> But uh, there's a few of them on there that I can't wait to meet. I mean, we've had the opportunity to meet Darby Island in the past. We've had a chance to meet um, a few of them. I would like to meet Cody Rhodes. I'm not sure if I'm willing to pay $150 to meet Cody Rhodes. Oh, is that what I'm charging? Oh, yeah. yeah. I meet Cody there. <laughs> I guess my man's trying to get some baby clothes or some shit. Yeah. That ain't happening. It's I, cool, I, I, yeah, that's why he can afford to give away his clothes in the ring. Um, oh, shit. All right. I guess but, I'll try to meet Jerry Lawler. <laughs> <laughs> but, but the big one for me is the Rock and Roll Express. Talk about this uh, wrestling. <laughs> I, I've never had an opportunity to meet the Rock and Roll Express. I'm looking. We have done interviews with them, but I am looking forward to meeting Robert Gibson and Ricky Morton. That, that to me is a childhood dream come true. Well, guys, AJ, like that girl you have on the side says, let's wrap it up. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we will see you next week, and that may or may not be conjecture.